Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am your Ice Dragon, Ray Run VR. Got another pre-order highlight for you guys. This is the uh, Walther's uh, special announcement when it comes to May 2023. This is kind of their catalog here of what they're going to be coming out with. As you can see, announced this month, May 2023 of this recording. We've got the winter 2024 for expected delivery date, and this is HO scale. Uh, one thing I don't like that I see already is this limited quality one time run of these road numbers or now. I don't like that they're doing exclusive kind of runs, that one and done type of mentality. It's like, I, I don't know. It is what it is. Anyways, we've got these new EMD E8 E9s uh, with DCC. It's the Lok Sound 5 uh, decoders that are in here. Uh, so we got the Southern, we got BNO here, uh, Chesapeake, and Ohio. Uh, the Burlington, which looks really cool, the Chicago Burlington and Quincy uh, E9s. Uh, this one really has my attention because I do have my California Zephyr, and or I can turn into the Burlington Zephyr if I really wanted to, but uh, these units look really nice. Uh, we've got the Southern here, and then probably uh, my favorite, we'll show it down the road, but uh, Union Pacific as well. Uh, we got these uh, flat cars with bi-level shielded auto racks, which is interesting, uh, 44 98 a piece again limited quantity one time run of these road numbers um so yeah there's your selection there again not really a big fan of these freight cars but meh uh so we got the union pacific uh, heritage fleet equipment so this is the ones that i'm kind of excited for uh again look sound 5 sound and dcc uh, for the a and b unit 600 not too bad in my opinion uh, again cost is relative but anyways we've got the union pacific heritage fleet with the um E9A and the B units. Again, I kind of want these engines because I don't have six axle diesels for the most part. Uh, I again, I tend to stay away from six axles just because they tend to have a, a tendency to derail on switches and track that are um, not really well laid. But oh, I, I do like these diesels. It's something I need to uh, grab eventually. Uh, so we've got these uh, coaches here. It looks like a two-axle coaches. And then we've got the three-axle Experience Union Pacific, which is going to be re-released. And then we've got some more baggage cars as well, um, as far as the uh, Heritage Fleet. Again, <laughs> uh, 104 a pop. Again, that's with lighting. I'm sorry, with metal wheels. And uh, let's see, do I have Kitty Couplers? I can't remember. But anyways, um, again, coming out uh, summer of this year. When it comes to these particular passenger cars, and then we got the uh, American Car Foundry baggage car. Uh, I mm, I do have one of these cars, but man, I tell you one thing: the trucks gave me so many issues. Like if your switches is not like really well laid and put together, and if your track is not well laid, this sucker derails on me so much. That's why you don't see me running it often. Again, I I try to stay away from uh, six axle uh, cars, but. If that's your thing, then go for it. And probably the, the um, my most excited from this announcement is this single uh, crossovers. Again, these are 60 apiece, and they got it going from left to right and right to left, left hand, right hand. Now, this is what's interesting because you can go this route or you can do their double crossover, which basically has both of these combined. But again, that's also around the same price, over you know 100 bucks for that double crossover. And so is this a better solution? Because basically you can get both of these and just connect one after the other. Again, it's all about that sandbox mentality that you can do it however which way you want to. Me personally, I tend to run, especially if I'm going to run six axles, um, you know, freight cars and diesels. I actually prefer probably to go this route because I don't have to worry about um, the crossing track that's in the middle. Again, another potential point for a train to derail. Um, I do like this because it looks a little bit more simpler to deal with. Um, obviously, you will need to have four Taurus switch machines in order to do this, whereas the other one, um, you can jerry-rig it to have like one uh, Taurus switch machine for the double crossover uh, track. But that's really interesting. Uh, I haven't seen anyone else do this type of thing, minus the Bachman Easy Track system, I believe, did these uh, single crossovers as well. Um, but now it's nice to see that we're going to get these, I think there's a code 83. Yeah. So it's code 83, which is nice and DCC friendly, which means they're going to have, um, to my understanding, these frogs are going to be unifrogs, which means that right now there would be, um, 
Yeah, isolated frogs, but with built-in jumper for powering as desired. So basically, they're Pico track unit frogs, essentially. They are isolated frogs. However, they've got these little clip things that you can actually power um, to make it a powered frog. So I do like this system as well. And I'm probably going to pick up a couple of these in the future. So definitely something that I am looking forward to. So, uh, But yeah, definitely excited about these... Uh, E9s and the double crossovers from this May announcement from Walters. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. What are you going to be pre-ordering, if any? And uh, with that, guys, I'll see you on the next video.